right y'all we're getting ready to go ahead and get into painting the new orleans snowball painting this is a really really fun quick painting it um it's really easy but it comes out really cool it's very nostalgic if you grew up in the world and you love snowballs and you've been to the world and you've had a snowball dream about those snowballs when it gets hot like we love snowballs so anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump right in on my plate i simply have the primary colors red yellow and blue and white we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the painting of course again on my palette i just have the primary colors red yellow and blue and we're simply going to go ahead and begin by um, starting with mixing red and blue to make purple. So we're just going to go ahead and take a little scoop of red and mix it right into the blue. All right, that's cool. I think I like that. But now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white to lift it up. So I'm just going to scoop some of my white and put it over there in my purple. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm gonna use my big brush to paint, but not to waste any paint. I'm gonna go ahead and just use what's on here. And actually, I wanna paint the sides. I always recommend painting the sides as you go along so that you don't have to worry about coming at the very end and painting it. And also, if it's not the same color, you'll wind up getting it on the on the front side of it and it won't look so good. So just go ahead and paint the sides while, while you're at it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this brush in the water and I'm gonna paint a nice wide swatch of purple. Now, I'm gonna go over a little bit wider than I actually wanted because it'll help me to blend my blue. I wanna put my blue right on top of it and we want it to blend right in. So I need a little bit more white. All right, so now that's purple. We're gonna go right into blue. I'm not even really rinsing off my brush because I'm gonna go on top of some of that purple anyway, and I'm gonna go right into blue. So right here, where the two colors are touching, I'm going light as a feather. I'm not trying to totally blend it in. I'm just really sweeping on top of it. And then where I put my blue, where it's gonna be blue, blue, that's where I'm gonna push down a little bit harder. All right, so. Now I'm gonna switch to yellow and it's gonna give me some green tones right in here. So here we go. Yellow. I'm gonna go light as a feather, right where the two touch, because now I have my green. I'm gonna get my green tone right there, right where they touch. That's my green. Aha, very good. Now I'm gonna get my yellow. So that's my green tone. Now I want yellow, yellow. There's my yellow, yellow. Now I'm gonna get red gonna go red and I'm gonna go right on top of the yellow very light as a feather so I can get a little bit of orange so here is my orange light as a feather I'm barely touching the canvas barely touching it and now I'm gonna come over here and finish off with red That's the background, simple and sweet. We're gonna let that dry for just a few minutes and then we'll be right back. Now we're back and we're gonna go ahead and start painting the snowball cup. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and take our small brush and right in the middle, about the middle, lower middle of the canvas, we're gonna make a little smile, I mean a frown. So we're just gonna take our small brush and I have mine on its side and I made a frown. You can make this about as long as you want. It's totally up to you. And then we're gonna make these two kind of diagonal lines, one here, one here, and we're gonna make another frown. That's the top part of our cup. And then we're gonna come down just a little bit over from the edges. And we're gonna make another little V, two diagonal lines. And then we're gonna make another little frown. So right there. And then I'm gonna switch to my medium brush. So back to my medium brush. And I'm simply just gonna paint all of this in white. All right, and so that's my cup. I'm gonna use my medium brush again. And I'm gonna just make a cone. And I guess you can put a little curve to it if you want. So I'm gonna make my little cone here. It's like a little triangle. I just want you to make a, a triangle. Oh, drink some water on that. And then we're just going to go ahead and paint all of this in red. And now I'm going to switch to my small brush. And I'm just going to use a little pouncing technique to pounce right into the... Um, the red to make it look a little icy. Now, I also have a, a medium brush and you can just kind of decide if you want to use your medium one or your small one. I'm gonna go with the medium one actually. And so this is all I'm doing. I'm just pouncing right into it, making it look a little icy. And I just want to mention that you're not dragging your brush at all. You're just pushing it on the canvas and pulling back. And you're doing it real, real fast. And the edges, you they don't want to be too, too neat. You want to make your edges a little bit kind of um, fuzzy. You don't want your edges to be neat. All right, so now I'm gonna give my white a little bit of time to dry, and I'm gonna put a little bit of an outline around my cup to give it a little bit of definition. So I'm gonna put a little thin, and I'm using my detail brush. It's my small, thin brush. I'm gonna put a little definition right under here, underneath the lip. And I'm just using a light, wispy line. You can use your finger to blend it out. all the way around.
All right, so now I'm gonna use another detail brush. It's a little bit bigger than the one I was just using to go back in and add my little polka dots. So I'm gonna do some big, some small, Actually, no, I don't want to use that brush. That's not the way I would like. So I'm using my small brush to go back in and add my polka dots. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to go back to my detail brush to write the words Nola Snowball right there. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow down here at the bottom. So I'm taking my small detail brush. I'm putting a little black paint. And I'm just kind of blending it out like that. And I can use my finger. I dip it in a little bit of water to just kind of blend it out. Now for the last step, we're just going to add some accent marks, like the little swirls and squiggly lines. And also we need a little straw coming here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my detail brush and go straight down into my snowball. And that's my straw. You can double it up and make it a little bit thicker if you want. And that's it. I'm just putting some random little markings. And then finally, you can um, sign your paintings. I always sign these P2P for passion to paint. So just going to go P2P and then my initials. So that is the end of the New Orleans snowball painting. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you added your own little spin and, and twist to it. Um, even go in and do it again. You can change the background. You can change the snowball color, the polka dot color. You can just do whatever you want. Make it your own. Make it fun. Um, also, don't forget to... You can visit my website. I have more videos at MyeshaFrancis.com. I'll also be posting more. I have more videos here on YouTube already. So definitely check those out. And leave a comment below. Tell me how you liked it. Tell me what you did different. Even if you can send me a picture, that would be super dope. So that's all for now, guys. I'm signing off. Creatively yours, Myesha Myesha the Artist. Bye, y'all.